Hey guys, um, I thought that since we've got our pickled corn done, that when I make pickled corn is the only time that I make corn cob jelly. I'm gonna show y'all how I make it. Um, it's something I grew up on and it's absolutely scrumptious. It tastes exactly like fresh honey. It's so good. And what you're gonna need is, uh, you're gonna need to take your corn cob that you made you pickled corn from and you you leave a lot of corn on when you make your pickled corn. I do now. I just cut off the tip ends. Then you put all your corn cobs in a pot and you boil them. Uh, I just let mine boil along behind me while I'm fooling with my corn so that it can be getting done. And uh, for this recipe you're going to need a uh, six cups of uh, corn water, corn juice, whatever you want to call it, and you're going to need uh, two packs of sure gel, pectin, whatever kind of brand that suits you, it don't matter. And you're going to need uh, eight cups of uh, good old granulated white sugar, plain old sugar. And what we're going to do is I'm going to get, I've done brought this, I've done cooked it. So now I need to measure it. So I need to get my cobs out. Here. Boy, that's going to make a mess. Let me set them in here. Put them in here where I'll put them. I'm going to need that here again in just a little while. So let's get the cobs out so that I can uh, bring my juice back to a boil and then we'll get our sure gel in there and we'll get our um, sugar in there and all that good stuff and start putting our jelly together. Corn cob jelly. And now you, these little extra pieces of corn that's on that, you cut them off and leave them in the jelly. And I think that I will because, uh, number one, I hate to waste it. And number two, I mean, it is corn cob jelly, you know? Don't hurt to have a little corn in it. It's real pretty in the, in the jelly. And it's totally not wasting the product here. There's another one here ton of corn on that. Cut some of it off down in there too. All of them's got some on it because I didn't like to make sure I cut it, cut off every kernel whenever I was doing my corn for my pickling. I like for it to be a little neater and as uncloudy as it could be. I'd love for it to be clear, but now I don't worry about it either way, really. Let's see. But yeah, it don't hurt a thing to have a little corn down in your corn cob jelly. It's unusual and it's pretty. I've got a bunch of corn on that. There's a couple I've done plucked out. It's got a big bunch. That's a piece of shuck. Okay. I've got to measure this now and see that I've got six cups of uh, corn juice. Alright, that got her cobs out. So this up here. And get that out of there. Set it over here. And now let's start measuring. I wash my measuring cup And I'm gonna measure it into this bowl right here. Well no, I'm not. Put this in the sink. I'm going to right there. I'm gonna pour it in that bowl and measure it back into my kettles what I'm gonna do. And it's a real pretty yellow color. 
Can you see it? Oh, and that reminds me. Um, when it's all said and done, uh, sometimes it's based on what kind of coin that you get your hands on. But sometimes you have to or add some uh, little bit of yellow uh, food coloring. And even though this turned out pretty yellow, I'll probably still add some to it. All right, let me get six cups measured. There's one. Two. Got some of that corn in there. Wow. Three. Four. Alrighty, and that just left a dab in the bottom, and I'm going to pull it right down. thing in the bottom of the sink it catches everything and now I'm gonna bring this to a boil and I'm gonna get my pectin in there I prefer the pectin to go into cold but I was saving time so I boiled it ahead of time so we're just gonna go ahead and get it in here yeah. Two full packs. I was going to try to make a little bit bigger batch, like maybe make a, a, a seven, I think it was, let me look, seven cups of juice and nine cups of sugar, or even maybe ten cups of sugar. But they recommend that you don't because it, for some reason, it makes it harder for it to set up. Well, I don't want to use all this and do all this, take all my time and it not set up. So, I said heck with it. I did the way that I know to do it and forget it. All right, now. Let me get this on the stove. Get it out. And get it mixed well. It's kind of lumpy, I guess, where it's hot water. I may have to uh, get out my little, uh, uh, little stick blender and get it plugged up and let it break it up good. I don't know. If it don't break up by itself, I will have to do that. Now I'm going to bring this to a bowl and let it boil a couple of three, four minutes, something. And then uh, it shouldn't take all day to come to a bowl, is it? And then I'll, I'll bring you back. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to stir around in it and uh, bring it to a bowl. Right. And let it boil, like I said, three, four minutes. I'll be back. Thank you. Okay, guys. It's got its pectin in. It's been boiling for a couple of minutes. It's at a rolling bowl. And I'm going to... And I didn't even open that. I... Found out I had that yellow and that yellow and it don't look yellow, but it is. And I may have to add a drop of red sometimes because this says it's lemon yellow. So uh, you just work the color out to suit yourself. Now I'm getting ready to put my um, eight cups of sugar in it. Well, I've got one already open here. I'll use it up first before I 
Oh, mm, now, I'm going to hang on with that little one because it's easy to store in the fridge. Well, we got if that blasted ants. I'm having to put everything in the fridge. The opening should be put in the fridge. All right, let me get this open here if I can. Yeah. All right, and I'm just going to measure out eight cups. I'm going to set it out for a few minutes while I put the sugar in it. It doesn't hurt a thing if you set it out. But now the pectin is already cooked in it. Put this lid up here. Now a measuring cup. And I'm gonna do that's one. Very little here. Break it up some. Oh, it already smells delicious. That's four. Seven. Enough money, but we'll find time to use it for. It's probably seven or eight tablespoons left in there. It's quite a bit if you're wanting to make my cup of tea or something. <coughs> now I'm just mixing it a little bit before I get it back on there and get it to uh, boiling again. I'll bring it to a boil again. And then uh, roll it around a little bit. All righty. Let me show you what it looks like on top. It's beautiful. Look at this. Uh-oh. Uh, can you see that, how pretty that is? I'm trying to. Ain't that pretty? Beautiful, ain't it? 
Okay, then. I'll be back in a minute. Hey, guys. I'm getting ready to add me a... It's just getting ready to come to a bowl again. I'm going to add me a little dab. It's got a yellow color, but it's, uh, it's like a clear yellow. It's not very yellow. Boy, that... Them two drops really, really amped it up. That is unbelievable. That two little drops do that much. Wow. I'm glad I didn't just squirt it in there. Now I'm going to put maybe about a... Try to do a little tiny drop of red to bring that yellow down just a dab because that's some serious yellow. I don't want orange. It's not dead exactly a honey color, but it's pretty. I'm not going to put no more yellow. That's bad, because I mean, tell you, buddy, that yellow wasn't playing games. It'll be pretty. I made some orange one time, bright orange, and uh, I was adding so many drops trying to change it that I thought I was going to have to add more pectin into it, and I, I learned my lesson on that. Just leave well enough line. Even if it ain't the color you're shooting for, it's still jelly, it'll be delicious. So, but I think this color will be all right. So it's getting ready to make its big bubbly boil. I ain't gonna boil it long, I'm gonna boil it about a minute. It's coming up right now to a good boil. Let me show you. Let's see if I can get it over here. And what have I done here? See, starting to roll and boil. You can see that color. I'm going to let it boil about a minute. Then I'll take it off and fill my jars up. And then I get it in its water bath there. And let me get you put back over here. Get it in its water bath, let it water bath about five minutes and it'll be done. <coughs> but I'm going to stay over here with it because I think my pot's deep enough that it ain't going to boil over but I don't want to take no chances on it. So that was a whole bag of sugar and two packs of pectin and my corn and my juice and I'm going to turn it down a little dab off a high. Put down on me and make cut back on that bowl. I want it to boil hard, but I don't want to boil out of the pot. And I don't want to stand and stir it to death because uh, I don't worry about dipping the uh, uh, foam off of it. It doesn't matter. And uh, I don't want to put butter in it because if it takes you too long to eat it, then uh, as soon as I have a little dab of a rancid taste with that butter and I don't like it. I won't do that no more because of that. I've never been so disappointed in all my life is when I done that. And ran across a jar that was about a year and a half, two years old and it had a rancid taste cause, and I know it was because of the butter. So I threw it out but I've not put butter in mine since because of that. I'll either just put the foam in the jar or uh, try not to beat it to death and develop it as much foam, because you're going to get foam no matter what. I'm not timing this. I'm just letting it boil to suit me. Turn it back up. It cut back down too much on the boil. Alright then. I'm going to let it... Well, no, that makes sense to turn it off. This is actual time, so. I'm just gonna, okay. 
Add it back again. Get too close to top. I don't want to beat it to death, like I said. So. other pot holder and I've got a new what you jigger in there yeah it's pretty now let me get my jars over here And half pints. I prefer half pints and even even this uh, half of a half to little because I don't always want the same jam or jelly every morning. I may want strawberry today and apple tomorrow, and apple butter the next day. I've got more jars than I needed, but, well, maybe. I hope I've got enough jars down there. Look at that. If I don't, if I don't, I'll start with a cord. Well, I won't start with a cord, but I'll fill a cord up if I have to. I'd say I got enough. jars right there. Then I need to get my get that back on. Let me get my rack. Where's the rack? It's untidy. Well, I'm gonna start filling these jars if I look for the rack here in a minute. I really need the rack though. I need to be sitting there it is. Setting them jars on it. That's what I need to be done. Let me warm this rack up because I've left it sitting over here that uh, Let me warm it up. I hate to bust a jar. That'd be bad. I had to warm it up now. That burns hot too. Alright. Let me run this through the water. Yeah. Like I said, I ain't worried about the final. I should dip it off, though. It ain't pretty. It looks like crap as my fact. I guess I will kind of dip it off a little. It's dipping my corn off with it. I could have run it through some cheesecloth, but I didn't. Let me drop that. Guess I'll just pour it in it right there. Okay. Let's start filling them up. If you're gonna have the foam. Oh, wait. What did I do with my trick? That is, I'll dip it again. Even though I've washed it and all that noise. Yeah, I've definitely got enough jars. No doubt about it. Looks like it's more of an orangey color, don't it? But it's all right. That's as high as I'm going to fill it.
I'm going to put lids and rings on them. And yeah, them are just pretty much room temperature. But I'm on hot water bath them. It'll be fine. Two, three. Ooh, can't stand touch. I have to do a little shifting around here so I can. Hold it to be able to put the rain on it. It's so hot, I can't stand it. That's mm -hmm. thing tight. Now I'm going to let you off here and I'm going to finish filling these up and then we'll be back. Thank you. Okay guys, we wound up with one, two, three, four, five and a half pints. Because these two make a pint. So uh, one, four full pints and three half pint jars. So let's get them on our rack here. They're pretty, ain't they? Man. I could have used that smaller one, but this one's already hot. Well, I could dump the water out though and put it in that smaller pot, couldn't I? I probably should, but I've got clean jars here that can go. As long as it don't break my jars, it'll be all right. Just to keep everything where it ain't wiggling around. Got room for a couple of pint jars. Oh, we had room for one pint jar. All right, let me show you what we got here. Here's what we got. And I'm gonna put it down this big old pot. Hopefully my jars won't break because they're cold. Well, they got in anyway. They're floating out. You gotta fill them up with water, and I know that. So let me get some water. All right, I'm gonna fill my fill in jars in so that my. I don't think they're gonna wiggle around anyway the way they're setting. So I'm just gonna let them cook. I'm gonna put the lid on it and let them let them boil the way they are. Once they come to a boil, I'll let them water bath for five minutes, then I'll turn them off and take them out, and I'll bring them back and show you what they look like. Thank you. Hey guys, this jelly has done its five minute water bath, and I'm going to get it out, and we're going to see what we got here. You look how pretty with that corn floating around in it. You look at that. Yep, got some foam on top. Nope, I don't care. I'm going to set them down here. And 
there's a little quilted jar. You can see the corn floating in it, and there in the bottom, too. Yeah, it's watery, but now when it when it cools, it'll set up. I know I'm showing you every one of them, but they're so pretty to me that ain't even funny. But uh, I know it'll set up good because the I washed the kittle, and it had already set up in the kittle just right. Perfect, Jack. This is a golden harvest mason jar. Look how pretty. Look at that corn in the bottom. I'll show you if one can't help myself. <laughs> Look, that did a fat jar. Ain't that toot? Ah, son. That's a little cur jar right there. Get it. I'll set it down there. Ooh, that was hot. Pretty ain't. Now they are ready to throw a little something over them. And uh, let them sit right there and rest until I get off work tomorrow evening. That keep the cool air off of them because that ice cold vents right here beside the island. I will see you tomorrow evening, and we'll. We'll see how it's set up and all that. Cross your eyes, people. <laughs> it was set up in the kittle. If it don't set up in this, shh, I'll have to open them and redo it. All right, I'll be back. Thank you. Good morning, guys. I thought we would check this jelly before I get ready for work. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yes, it gelled perfectly. Look at that. Yeah, nice. I feel a pee ain't on me somewhere. Shh. Too early for that. Look at it. Now, it's supposed to take these off for 24 hours, but there you go. Sealed and beautiful. And I wanted to show you this real quick. Um, these tomatoes that I canned the other day, the rings are off. And there they are. You just test them to, because them don't bend down in. All right, then. I appreciate you putting up with me and listening to me and watching me can and do my thing. It's got the corn in it. Look how pretty. Corn in. There you can see it unstick from that. I mean, it's a perfect consistency jelly. Just right. I sure appreciate you, everyone. Thank you. Oh, look at that one. Look at that. I know the rain's rusty. That don't matter. Until next time. Thank you.